long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galamir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy foe. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. Some um, some ambient music. As the hero of Galilee, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. Red, yellow, pink. Pink, 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 pink. Where are we going? Down the steps. Down the steps. Into a room. There's Zarok. An evil wizard. Oh god. He's discovered... How to bring things back from the dead. I didn't think that he had a big spike on his chin in the original, but I must be wrong. Must be wrong. I always just thought he just had a big chin, but apparently not. Apparently not. We are in the media strike. Who is that? Easy. There he goes off into the streets. people into zombies. Zombie voice. Oh god, little child.
Good. There it is. Oh, I like, I feel the ambience. The ambience is there. This is how I remember it. This is what I mostly remember out of Medieval, is this little, like, intro thing, like, flying up the stairs. There he is. So, Dan, hello there. So, so what we have tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a little bit of Medieval remastered demo. I like this guy. He's good. I'm going to turn all the volume down, and I'm just going to basically... It's also raining in real life, so that'll, that'll add a bit of ambience to it as well. I'm going to turn that down, and I'm just going to play and just chat. Just, just, a, just a wee bit of chatting. Chatting until Dallin can get here and watch it, because I don't really want to play the demo twice. And uh, it's probably short anyway. So he might be... 20 minutes, let's say. He might be 20 minutes. So we'll sit here f like this, and I'm just going to play songs. Any requests? Any requests from you? Remember, I don't know all the songs, and I cannot make them up. But I can give it a go. I have to have learned it. But uh, I'll give it a wee try. Slap. <laughs> you want me to just slap? There you go. There's a... I can play, I can play You Can't Stop by the Red Hot Chili Peppers by slapping it, if you want me to do that. That's, that's something I can do. I like that you put two peas there as well. So we'll do that. I'll start it off. And if I make some mistakes as well, it's all, it's all part of the fun. It's all part of the live experience, isn't it? So. I don't know Under the Bridge on bass. That's the problem. I've only got the bass guitar, so I don't know that on bass. Um, I, well... I mean, last time I played, I literally just played Arctic Monkeys from, uh, just from my phone, and I was singing along to it, and that was fine, so, it's grand. I don't think I'm making any, don't think I'm making any money off this anyway, so, if I make any money off it, they can have it, they can have the money. I don't, I don't mind. I'll happily give it up to them. Alright. Ah, my hands are so sweaty. <laughs> I just slipped off the strings. That was anticlimactic. My hands are so sweaty. It's really warm in here, right? Dear, I can't remember the chorus. I haven't played the song in a while. I've only really started to get back into music recently um, because um, a good friend of mine, um, whose name is James, he invited me to come over to Germany to play bass guitar in his band. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's it's like a 50-50 consideration. But I thought that I would like get back into it and properly like learn stuff again and practice a bit more because I've kind of let it slip because I just have too many hobbies. I enjoy too many things, and guitar is a, like the low priority of all the rest of the things. But you know, I'm getting getting back into it, warming up my hands, making them really like the tips of my fingers hard again. You know, that's happening. Um, it, for a while, it was like coffee, 
and I was burning them all the time and so that's how like what do you need to get a bass? You need to get a bass guitar? A hobby? Yeah, you should you should get a hobby that's not just like drinking. That's always good. It does, the drinking does get in the way of the hobbies. So I've been doing the old, the reason that I was listening to the Arctic Monkeys a lot was because I was learning them on bass guitar. So I was learning a bit of those. I'm always going to markets and such events. Well, that's good. That's keeping you busy. That's getting you out of the house, isn't it? That's very good. Oh, my microphone's falling over. But um, that's something anyway. What song will we do? Are you mine? We'll play. I was gonna say like you sing and I'll play because I can't sing and play at the same time. But you can sing in, you can sing in your head on a 15 minute delay or 15 second delay, if you like. Um, so it starts like I'm up a bed on the stray Tracy Allen in a wish to away entire lifetimes on farewell and some will misbehaving for days great escape lost track of time and space na, 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 na. and so while he's doing that the drums are going and there's no bass for it but I think it's fun what you know the drums are like they're like that watch out for your eardrums with that they're like that but I, I think going like is good with that so I guess what I'm trying to say is I need to deepen Imagine in till turn wished away I don't know all the words yet I'm only learning So I've been learning that one. That one's good. Um, it's quite an easy one. It eases you into it, but it sounds nice and it's fun to play. So it's quite a good one. That it's quite nice. This little. Why can't I do it now? Apparently I can't, I've just forgot. It's hard to play when you're not playing it in the rest of the song. So 
So I was doing that one. I was learning. I'm kind of obsessed with um, their album, uh, the uh, the hotel one. What's it called? Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. I'm kind of obsessed with that. And people think it's shite, but I think it's great. So I've been doing that one, and I've been learning four out of five. That one's a, that's a fun song as well to play. It's very good. Gotta sing the bit before your letter. It's a, it's like finding a letter in the alphabet. Gotta sing the bit before your letter. You do have to sing the bit before your letter. You do. Where's my friend? Is he hurrying up? Cause I am fed up. I just want to play the game. Apparently, so, so right, yeah, I know, I know, but this is a demo, so maybe, <laughs> maybe they haven't programmed that in the demo, but you'd imagine that this is just a snippet of the game taken out. Um, so there's a girl that I used to work with, um, her name's Bernie, and she, she's put a thing up on Facebook, and it's like, it's a story, and it's loads, of, it looks like loads of napkins, with the letter U or N drawn on it. And she says, for some, it's only a scribble, but for me, it's an achievement from work. Hashtag only few know. And she's from, she's from the Philippines. And I'm like, can she not write? Does she not know how to write things? Is that like, is that what she's talking about? Cause that's weird. That's very weird. That's the Philippine language. <laughs> she's just practicing her uh, joint up letters. <laughs> with <laughs> she's practicing joint up letters. What else can I play? I could play. I could play. Um, what's it called? Gawatl or something? What's it called? <laughs> uh, Garawatl, something like that. I I can't remember. It begins with G. I think. Glocking, glocking something. Uh, I could do, I could do master puppets, but that's gonna really hurt my hands. So we could give that a go. Cause I've only, I haven't actually got a pick with me, so I'm just playing with my fingers and it, it's sore. Um, okay. So how's that go? down 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 down
It doesn't sound as good when it's not plugged into an amplifier because it's just. It does sound like a pen and a comb. What actually is the difference between a bass and a normal guitar? Good question. Well, um, they're different instruments. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so on a a bass is lower. I don't I don't know by how much. I don't know musical theory, but a bass guitar is a lower instrument. The strings are different. It's bigger. Uh, there are only four strings. Uh, there's less sonority if you will with a bass guitar it's usually more of a rhythm instrument but people are very creative and in some bands like the red hot chili peppers it's used as a lead instrument as well which is good uh it's kind of an accompaniment it's kind of like in the same way the drums are there for like a beat bass is kind of the same thing um it's kind of like it, it's basically the electric form of a double bass I suppose, which is, you know, not, not a guitar, so, yeah.
Christ. Because it's the strings are quite, quite hard metal. Ooh. It's kind of, I don't know, how would you describe it? Hmm. They're just like big coils, really. You know, they're just big springs. Pushed really tightly together. Ah. I hurt my hand on that one. I've heard horrible stories of people like just cutting their hands open while they play or like the string snapping and like pinging off and just cutting their whole hand open which would be bad would not enjoy that Still not done. Still not done. The only reason um, I could use um, it is really ruined. Yeah, it is. Um, let me check. What's about? What's about here? I decided I decided that I, I couldn't find anything so why not just go actually just go and get a pick from upstairs new career this just, uh, just learning songs on a PlayStation streaming why not why not says I just like not even like properly playing just like Learning just le just learning songs <laughs> Right now. This is so much easier Easy easy peasy Advertising in my genitive way, start your free trial today. Come on and be love me. Oh, we love me. You meet someone you like, you're in the media strap. It is that easy. Lunar service on a Saturday night, dressed up in silver and white, with colored old gray whistle test lights. How's it go? Boom, 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 With colored old gray whistle test lights. Take it easy for a little while. Come and stay with us. 
It's such an easy flight. Cute new places keep on popping up since the exodus. It's all getting gentrified. I put a taqueria on the roof. It was well reviewed. Four stars out of five. And that's unheard of. Did he? That's, that sounds hard. An improv, that sounds tough. Maybe it wasn't, but it was funny. That's good. That's good. Okay, so I've got the, I've got the notes in front of me. So we know this bit. Boom, 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 ba, 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 ba. Advertising, I can't sing and play. Start your free trial today. Come on in, hey. Ah, so there's a so there's this pair. So. So we start off. So and then the chorus. Oh, gray whistle test lights. So. Ah, uh, so I've been playing no, no wrong. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom,
And that's unheard of. <laughs> um. You know what? He's messing out. We're just playing the game. I'm sick of sick of this. He's just gonna have to miss out on it and not watch it. He's just gonna have to watch the archive. So let's go in to the game. Options. Yo, the inmates are on the asylum. <laughs> Yes. Oh, how the tables have turned. The puppet becomes the master. Colorblind settings? What about that? You're colorblind. Languages. I love how they, like, they put the languages in the language, in, like, the actual language. So, like, I know what they are. That's Russian and that's uh, Croatian, probably. But weird languages, first of all. Here, just stick it on that. There we go. Stavka Zvuk Glaznoka Ifakata Glaznoka Glasbe Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's very, it looks very old. Zizek uh, Sustev <laughs> What's colorblind settings in Croatian? Postavka Zad Zdalnomiste That's true, that's very true. Colorblind. Normal vision? Nor normal. That's a bit. Normal. Normal. We're normal. Deuteranope? Putanope? What the hell? Oh, they're not. What are we doing with this? What? Protanope? Oh, look at that. Diabolical. Triton obey. Normal vision. Good boy like that. Um, what, if, what if I want the severity, severity of my normal vision to go up? Right, that'll do. New game. <laughs> Perfect. Jesus, look at that. Indian D. Gore. Gore galore. <laughs> if you will. Oh, Jesus. He's up. Into the crypt. Big chessboard. There he is. Dead. But 
surprisingly well kept clothes. I was wondering when this cutscene was gonna happen. It's funny. Let's go, let's get them! Zarok! Alright. I like how they're wearing pretty much the same armor. Just right in the fucking face. There he goes. The blood splatter on that. And he just, he was the first to die. It is gorgeous. He died. The first one to go. Oh, he's got a little cobweb in his eye. Very good. That's the way he talks. Rise and shine, Dan. Looks like you've got a second chance at this whole hero thing. Try not to blow it. Oh, I didn't get the read well. Oh. There he is. It has risen again. It has risen Sir again. Daniel Fortescue. The hero of Gallomere. <laughs> the the savior of the day, so Daniel fought in school. As a child, I'm often told by my parents that I call them Fordal Skilf. So, um, Sir Daniel Fordal Skilf is what little child me could say. Apparently, he couldn't say Fortescue, so. Oh, how the tables have turned once more. Are we gonna get to play? Here we go. One thing that I, like, I don't like, a, a, like, not that I don't like, but I kind of wish that they'd, like, sort it out, and I've kind of noticed this from all the trailers and stuff, is that I kind of want, I want it just to be, like, this behind him all the time. I basically just want, like, a Dark Souls-style camera, but I, so I don't like, you know, when you go in and it's, like, all zoomed out, it's, like, Metal Gear Solid, like, isometric view, almost. I don't, I kind of just want them to, like, put it, you know, into the way that most games are played. Because it's quite an archaic way to play a game with the camera up like that, you know. It's, it feels a bit more natural. There's a chest in your bedroom. I've got this now. So, uh, this, th they said that this helmet, uh, I can now use in the actual game as well. So... Looks like I'm a winner, if you will. I'm a winner. Download Medieval Dan's Helmet. DLC already. DLC. Not even... Still a month away from it coming out. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that nice stained glass window. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Head spinning around. Very good. Can I turn that inverted off? Is there an option? Invert look. No. Oh, let me zone line. There we go. Okay. Chest. Chest. What's that of anyway? Oh, it's of him killing dragons or whatever. Okay, cool. What do you have to say? She said that already. What are you? <coughs> Fate has given it a safe. Read book. You must be out of shape after one Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin table. Those greedy merchant gargoyles. Typical gargoyles. Ooh, throwing daggers. Some <coughs> weapons contain powers and ability. Okay. La 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 la. I is that way, yeah. Find a rune star. Perfect. Oh, he's very tall. <laughs> what was the point in that? What? 
During your travels through Galamir, Copper Shield. See, I do want it to be like the Dark Souls controls as well. Why is the head. You know what I mean? Like, I want to hold L1 for the shield and R1 for the sword. That This control scheme needs to go as well. Look at that. R1 to crouch. X to jump. Oh god, I'm going to throw these. I have loads anyway, that's okay. Right. Give me that, please. So it's L1. It's R1 for the shield. I change that. Button light? I can. Oh no, it just tells me. Swap target. Block. Like. So what's shield then? Shield. Shield that. And then square is that. Okay. Cool. That'll do. Right. Shiny gold. Ready to leave this route. You'll find an exit at the They were. They're all like this. All shite. You'll find life bottles throughout. Life bottles. You will find a life bottle. You from your slum. You Why? You from the dead. You've not won it. You've inherited it. Using this bottle will help you feel a little better. You've inherited a house, my young fellow. A rather large one at that. I should fancy to say. Go on. Cheers. Let's go. Oh, one last tip. Oh, no, never mind. Out the door. See you later. <laughs> Fuck your books. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very, very nice. A little, a little diorama. Dan's Crypt. How about we go to the graveyard? Enter the graveyard. Take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. 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 Chocolate chip cookies. Cookie, 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 cookie. I want to go and fight the trees. Fortescue. No, like, why? Why would you have that one on automatically? Can I smash the graves? I can. Here, hand. You dirty beggar. Hmm. Come on, zombie. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking the stinking dead have risen dead have risen up to the dance with the lifeless, lifeless, lifeless living. And they want to do it over your dead body. Oh, Dan, your dead body. I don't mind playing this for the sake of nostalgia, but I will be honest, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't, it doesn't feel great. It doesn't really feel like... That small, small light, light following you around is a wisp. A wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in the mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had shot of redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with their depths. They decided to give you a... Yeah, it's uh No, Earth Room. Yeah, it's uh and like it doesn't Okay, I don't know. I'm into playing it, yeah, because like I really like medieval and I really like the character and stuff, but yeah. Don't let zombies get you down. I won't let them get me down.
It's up there. It's the red one. It hasn't aged as well as Abe's Odyssey. No, certainly, certainly not. Like I just, I wish that it was just like camera behind, you know, like proper, like, like, instead of like arcadey, like, random, like, depth perception and all the shit. It was just like it felt really nice or something. The second medieval. As far as I'm aware, is not the better of the two. Sometimes it may be useful. But the second one's good. It's, it's a fine one. It's fine. Dan Cam. See, I wanted a bit more like this, you know. I wanted a bit more like over the shoulder. Why does it have to be? Does it does Dan Cam have to be like over the side or could you know as a right handed person could we have it like over the over the other way? Flipping hell. There's no button to like No. No, okay. Sure. Why not? Oh crikey! This, this is something. Maybe not. Maybe don't play like that. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say that they haven't put a lot of effort in. It looks very nice. Looks very nice indeed. Music's good. Creepy. Remember, nothing remains hidden. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he just he waited. Okay, nice little wait there. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a sword, the chalice fills a little more. Okay. Cool. Although it is only... I think it's only... 25 quid, which is not... That's good. 25 quid's good for that. I'll pay that. I'll, I'll happily pay that. Yeah, it is much further out. So, you would imagine they've probably like done as much as they could with the camera. Oh, the stained glass demon. He's terrifying. He's terrifying. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. I do not know any of those. Yeah. It's I just feel like I'm just slashing like there's I can't. I can't really remember. I don't think there is a way to like really like defend yourself. You know what I mean? But like, I feel like I'm just getting hit, just regardless. It's like it doesn't really matter if I have my shield up. I'm just. I'm just walking, and they're get. They're hitting me <laughs> anyway. Which is weird. There we go. Some health. Give me that sweet, give me that sweet health. Give me that sweet green. Yeah, I don't, don't really want to use the arm. The arm's just a bit... It's a fun novelty. It's not the best. Maybe second playthrough is more of an arm run, isn't it? What are we doing here? Find a copper shield. There we go. That's up there. I don't really want to go up there, do you? 
nice sprint. Like it'll be good. Um, be nice to play this at Halloween, a Halloween themed game. There aren't enough, like, there are a lot of horror games, but there aren't just enough, like, Halloween themed games. Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming out on Halloween as well. So that's good. How do I get in there? I can't remember. How do I do that? Do I have to drop down? I'm not going up that way, am I? Oh, the angel. All right. I see. Do you know how I can get through this thing where those chests are? Meh. We'll just we'll just keep going. Um, foolish. I could read the book. The object here is the chance. Every time you do. I could. I could have been reading the books, but um, I am an idiot. So. God. Crikey. Sure, I'll do. I've left a few chests up there, but we're not going to be playing this again, so. Off to the big hill with the boulders. This is up here, isn't it? That's it! That's it! You know what? Fair enough. Thanks for playing! <laughs> Thanks for playing. Thanks. You're welcome, Medieval. I won't pre order because it's already pre ordered from game. So I don't need to pre order that. Thanks for playing! Our 10 minute demo. Long ago. There lived in the kingdom of Galamere a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons. It is the, it is the hill with the boulders, isn't it? The realm for his own. As far as I remember, that's what it is. Sir Daniel Fortescue led them. Well. The demo is called the short-lived demo, and it is it is short. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one-hour adventure into medieval, um, and also the, all the music and stuff as well. And hopefully, my YouTube channel does, doesn't get shut down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. That was good, but it's it does feel janky. It feels janky. Let's say that it doesn't feel smooth. And I've been playing Link's Awakening on Switch at the minute, and that feels like a nice bar of soap in your hand and I'm winking you know what I mean you know what I mean compared to that so yeah TTYL as they say